Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Abby. It's nice to meet you. Today we are throwing it back. I haven't done one of these in a very long time and I don't think anybody really does them anymore but I thought it's quarantine. I have nothing better to do than to spend money apparently. That's also how I got this backdrop which is beautiful by the way. I have nothing better to do than to spend money. That's how I got a streaming computer which by the way if you didn't know I live stream. I've been live streaming almost every single night. I Actually, I think I've live streamed other than Sunday every single night since I got my streaming computer. Um, I'm gonna link my streaming channel down in the description if you wanna come check it out, subscribe to me, whatever. What else have I been spending money on? A lot of stuff, to be honest. Too much stuff, but it's fine. Um, included in that stuff is a Lush haul. This was like a very long roundabout way just to get around to saying I did a Lush haul. Um, and I thought that I would come on here and show you guys what I got. I did spend quite a bit of money. I figured I might as well hop on camera and show you guys what I got. I actually had a couple people DMing me on Instagram uh, telling me that they wanted to know what I got. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a haul video. Also, um, if my cheeks seem extra pink and my nose might seem a little bit extra red, under a lot of this makeup, I am sunburnt, very sunburnt. You can't, wait, well, you can kind of see it. Oh, you can see it, there you go. Look at that. So my Lush order came out to be $191.84. That's Canadian too. So before taxes, it was 170. Before I get into the haul, um, if you guys could like and subscribe to my channel, that would be great. I try to make videos as often as I can, so hitting that subscribe button would definitely help a little more, but also like the video as well. And another thing before we get into it, my boyfriend bought this for me and he dropped me off it today. It's a cute little Bruni Funko Pop. I have a little collection of Funko Pops. It's actually behind here on my shelf and I love Bruni so much from Frozen 2. So he got me a Frozen 2 Bruni Funko Pop. I'm in love. So Lush actually did forget to send me one of the items that I ordered. I ordered two of the Scenic Shampoo Bars. <gasps> one, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I ordered two of these babies, one for me and one for my mom, but only one of them came in. So I'm gonna give this one to my mom, especially because this weekend's Mother's Day. I don't, you know, I don't wanna be, mm, you know, I'm just gonna keep this one for myself and you can wait the three weeks for the next one. No, this one's for my mom. The next and last hair thing that I got is a big old bottle of American Cream Conditioner. Usually I only get the, is it 250 milliliter bottle? I don't get like the big ones. This isn't even that big. Like they have a liter one. This is the 500 mil, but I absolutely love this conditioner. It is like the only Lush conditioner that I will use. Oh my God, and it smells so good. If you ever smelt American cream, you know how good it smells. It smells like a strawberry vanilla milkshake. I'm gonna keep all the bath stuff to last. So the next thing that I got, I got an Angels on Bare Skin Face and Body Cleanser. This is what it looks like when it's in there. You just pick a bit off and I guess that you wet it. Yeah, you add a little water, mix it into paste, and then you cleanse your face with it. I haven't really tried any of their like solid cleansers like this before, so I'm really excited to try this. I just wanted something different for my skin. My skin has actually, from quarantine, like cleared up immensely. Like I had a bit of a like a hormonal breakout going on on my cheeks, like right here and then on my chin. My chin is still a little bit questionable but my cheeks like there's nothing there anymore i just wanted to try this out see what it can do for my skin and what does it smell like i think it smells it it smells horrendous that smells horrible but you know what you gotta do what you gotta do it smells like what does it smell oh my god i can't put my freaking finger on it but that smells like some like specific type of either food oh my god i'm gonna have to like ask my mom and she could tell me what exactly this smells like because it like it's triggering something in my brain okay now we're hopping into the bath stuff i think that was it for the not bath stuff this is super cute this is the flower power bath bomb and it does smell very floral it's really nice but yeah there's a flower power bath bomb you just pop this into the bath there are a bunch of flower petals in there you can take this off and just have it as a free floating bath bomb but this is actually super helpful because you can dunk it in there and then take it all out and all of the flower bits won't actually get into your drain which is nice oh this smells so good 
This is the Sleepy Bubble Bar. It smells exactly like Twilight and like the Sleepy, what is it? Is it like a body spray and a body lotion or something? that sleepy normally is. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It smells like lavender and all things just like calming. And it is huge. Like look at this thing compared to like the size of my face. This is gonna last me at least like four or five baths. Amazing. The look of this bath bomb is really cool. However, the smell of it is not my favorite. This is flight bath bomb. Like I said, the look of it is so cool. I hate the smell of that. It's not, I can't put my finger on it. My mom thought that it smelled really sweet. I don't agree. I should, I'm gonna go grab my list actually and see what's in here that I don't like the smell of. So bergamot oil's in there. I love bergamot, so that's definitely not it. Mandarin orange oil. What is the smell in here that I do not like? There's a, what is this? Pelargonium Gravolians flower oil. Maybe that's what I don't like. I don't know, but there's something about this that just does not smell good altogether. So I'm really excited to see what it does in the bath. Not excited to smell this for an entire hour or, you know, smell like it afterwards either. This one I was so excited to get. This is the Peachy Crumble Bubble Rune. It is so cute. It's a bubble rune, which means that the inside there is filled with like this cream stuff. So when you put it in your bath, cause it is a bubble rune, it makes bubbles. So you just crumble it up, put it underneath the running faucet, and then it makes a bunch of bubbles in your bath. Because of this stuff, it makes your bath so soft and moisturizing and just lovely. And it smells like peaches, obviously. And it's a big bubble room too. This one just came in a little plastic bag, so I won't really have to like take it out to show ya. But this is the Dinosaur Bombshell Bath Bomb. It is so cute. So it's all tied together because these two parts come apart and there's actually a little dinosaur bath bomb inside of it. I'm super excited for this because because you technically get three baths out of this. It's super cute. I know that in the past for Easter, they have had ones like this that they had like just a regular egg and then on the inside it looks like a cooked egg, I don't know. But having a little dinosaur I thought was super cute. So I ordered this one. I wonder what the scent is in it. I do like the smell of that. Here, I'll actually show you a picture on my little order set. This is the little dinosaur that's in there. So it smells like grapefruit, bergamot, bitter almond, gardenia. It's like, a mixture of floral and citrus, and it smells so good. This one just came loose, which was kind of weird. I've never had just a bath bomb come loose in the package without any wrapping or bag or anything. This is the Rose Clay Salt Cube Bath Bomb. Rose Clay Salt Cube Bath Bomb. Wow. As expected, it does smell like rose. It doesn't smell as rosy as I was expecting it to be. There's definitely something else in there. Yeah, so bergamot and jasmine are definitely in this more than the rose is, but I like it. I think it's cute, it's just a little, oh God. It went right up in my sinuses. So it does smell really nice. It's pretty cute. I think it'll just be a nice, cute little bath bomb. Ooh, it looks like there's like salt crystals in the bottom. Do you see that? This is gonna be good. This one also didn't come in a bag, which was interesting, a little weird. This is oh, the Deep Sleep Bath Bomb. Again, it comes in that cute little baggie that you can just dip in there, let everything soak and dissolve, and then you just get to take out all the leaves and stuff afterwards, because inside of here, I do believe that there is, let me just double check. Yeah, so there's lavender actually in here, so all the bits of lavender will get caught in here, and then I can just dispose of it without it like clogging my drain or anything. But I think that this is super cute. Obviously, it smells like lavender. This plus the Sleepy Bubble Bar would be like amazing, but I'm somebody like, I can only use one or the other. Like I can't use a bubble bar and a bath bomb. Like I, I don't know why I can't, but um, this is really nice. Why don't I just get this on Goof Troop stuck in my head? Thank you, Goof Troop. Oh. This one broke my heart when I opened it. So this is the mermaid tail bubble bar. There's this, but this is supposed to be attached in there and it's supposed to sit up. Look how freaking cute that is but it got broken. Oh, it smells really good. And this is melting in my hand, so I definitely gotta put that away. So again, there's a lot of uh, citrus smells in this. There is grapefruit, something literally just called citral. Yeah, so there's like lemon, grapefruit. There's some floral scents in here as well. It is so nice. So the top piece of the tail is definitely more of a bath oil. So it's something that I could probably just break apart, put in the bath with a little bit of the bubble bar and it makes the water really soft. It makes your skin super soft afterwards as well. So I'm really excited to use this. I thought it was so cute. I'm really sad that it didn't come all in one piece, but I mean, if the only issues with this order was that I had a missing shampoo bar and this was a little broken, that's fine. 
fine. I ordered a lot of stuff and I know that they're really backed up with orders too. Like it took two-ish weeks almost for them to process my order and for me to get it. So that also means I'm not gonna be getting my shampoo bar for another like week and a half to two weeks, which by the way, Getting them to send me another shampoo bar was one of the worst experiences ever. I tried to do it on their online chat and I got disconnected five times from them. And then when I tried to call it, it took an hour and 25 minutes. I really like this one. This is called the Knockout Bubble Bar. So it is a bright pink boxing glove. It looks so cute and it smells like it's just super cinnamony is basically it. The only smell that I smell is cinnamon. So yeah, it's like a cinnamon peppermint smell. I guess the top of it's supposed to be red and the bottom's supposed to be pink, but to me it just looks like it's all pink. But I like it, it's a really cute bubble bar. And I'm sure that the bottom um, half where it was shiny, that's definitely gonna be something that will make your water moisturizing. Last but not least, this one is super cute. And it definitely looks a little different than the picture, but that's fine. This is the Party Popper Bubble Bar. So it's supposed to look like a Party Popper, obviously. It smells pretty good. So there's definitely bitter orange in there. There's some lemon. Um, it is pretty citrusy, but there's something else in there. It's definitely not all citrus, but I really like the smell of this. It is really cute. It's supposed to have a ton of these like little sprinkle things at the top there. Do you see like right here and here and here? There's those little sprinkles. In the picture, it shows like a ton more being there. That's a little sad, but it's still super cute. I cannot wait to use this. I can't wait to use all this stuff. Like I was really running low on Lush, which is the only reason that I made a like $200 order. Normally I would not do that, but I was out of shampoo, out of conditioner. I wanted to try a new cleanser. And I was like, I only had like five bath bombs left, which if you know me, I usually have at least like 20 on hand at a time. So I'm still not like up there to where I was, but I needed to buy some stuff and I was getting really sad hopping into my baths and slowly watching and slowly watching my entire collection just like dwindle down to nothing. So yes, everyone, that is it for the Lush haul today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, like I said before, and let me know what your favorite Lush products are in the comments. Maybe it's something that I haven't tried yet and I wanna try. My favorite bath bomb, just in case you were wondering, is Golden Wonder Bath Bomb. It's a Christmas exclusive and intergalactic. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, I will see See you hopefully soon with another video hopefully next week my fingers are crossed that I'll put out a video next week but I love you guys and I will see you in the next one go subscribe to my live channel <laughs> bye